Hi, let's talk about Torque. Welcome to Teacher Ray's classroom. Let's go inside. Thank you. Anyway, I keep wondering why doorknobs are placed on the edge of the door. Can you help me? Oh, I wonder why too. Maybe Teacher Ray can help us. Let's go inside first. Why is the doorknob located there? Why not here? Or in the middle? Do you also wonder the same thing as Ivy? The answer is easy. Doorknobs are usually located on the edge of the door to move it with less effort. The same thing with wrench. Where do you usually hold the wrench? Near the head? On the middle? Or on the edge? You probably answered on the edge, because you know that it would be easier to turn the wrench like this. The science behind this is called torque. Torque is the tendency of a force to rotate the body to which it is applied. We can simply say that, the more torque we have, the more force we have to rotate an object. Having more force also means, lesser effort when opening a door, or turning the wrench. But, torque, is not just about force and rotation. Torque, is directly proportional to the amount of force, and the length of the moment arm. For example, the length of the wrench, or, the width of the door. From this equation, we can deduce that we can get a large torque, even with a small force, by having more radius. This is why it is better to hold the wrench on the edge. By holding it this way, you can exert less force to remove the bolt. Otherwise, you will have to exert more force because you have shorter length or radius. Let us try an example. Suppose we have a wrench whose length is 20 centimeters. And the required torque to turn the wrench is 4 newton meters. What is the amount of force that you need? We can solve this problem by using the equation mentioned earlier. Torque is equals to the product of force and radius. Thus, we can write, 4 newton meters is equals to, force, times 0.20 meters. So, force is equals to, 4 newton meters divided by 0.20 meters. Finally, we can solve for the amount of force which is equals to, 20 newtons. 20 newtons is the amount of force you need to turn the wrench, given that you hold it on the edge. How about if you hold the wrench in the middle? How much force will you need to rotate it? Given the same amount of torque required and the length of the wrench, let us solve it. We will still write, 4 newton meters is equal to force, but, times 0.10 meters. This is because the length we need to write in the equation, is not the length of the object, but, the distance of your hand to the head of the wrench. Since you are holding the wrench in the middle, we can simply take half of the total length of the wrench as the radius. So, the length we will write in the equation is, 0.10 meters. Going back to our equation, force will be equals to, 4 newton meters divided by, 0.10 meters. Then, we can solve for the amount of force, which is equals to, 40 newtons. Comparing both situations, it is clear that holding the wrench on the edge, will require lesser force to rotate the bolt, than holding the wrench in the middle. The same applies to the doorknob. If the doorknob is located on the edge of the door, it will only take 3 newtons of force to open it. Meanwhile, if the doorknob is located in the middle, the required amount of force to open it will be doubled. Thus, it will require more effort to open the same door, if the doorknob is located in the middle. Now, I know why the doorknob is on the edge of the door. Thanks Teacher Ray. You are welcome Ivy. I can give you more examples to practice. If you want to learn more physics stuff just like Ivy, click the subscribe button and watch out for our next videos.